Okay, so we're gonna start on the beginner stuff, not me. Do some scales. So get both of your clips ready, like this. So you know, it's just it's just that, yeah. All right, but say no more. Go to first one, press S, bring up scale, or you can just press the arrow scale. Press the stopwatch to make a diamond, and then let's do a zoom out or zoom in. So where? Just drag this scale up. I like boom. Not me. And then this thing. This thing is directional. Not what? There's a motion blur. So it blurs when it moves. Well, you can't see right now because you didn't do graph. Graph. Give us a diamond. I want to turn into like an hourglass figure. So highlight like that. And then do right click. Keyframe assistant. And an easy ease. Or you can just press F9. That's what I do. But yeah. So there so it'll look different it'll look like this now it's like easing in and stuff so it doesn't really look that good right now but here yeah there's still one frame here let's move this right where on the edge this piece so now you select both of them and this button right here you see it yeah you can all right press that there's a graph editor and if it looks like this don't worry Okay, it's because I had all of these three combined, I like selected, that's why it shows different one, but you only need scale, so press this, and then value graph. Okay, there you go, I fixed it. I got you. Okay, so basically, we're gonna make it go into the, the transition, so an in graph would look like this, and the out graph, which I'll show you soon, would look different, so. Yeah, it, it like goes in now, like, it doesn't look weird, it goes, boom. Ooh, okay, second clip. You do this scale, same thing basically. Go one at the end, go back to the beginning with this. So now you wanna make it zoom in. So we'll go to the end. And you can just zoom it in like that. No I mean and then let's say you wanna zoom it back out, but boom. There's black like there's um black area or blank areas. You just go to your effects or if you have um I don't, I don't forgot it's called video pilot something. Mm -hmm. So you go FX console if you if you have if it's free, so you should get it. Okay, so here. So what do you do here is search up motion tile. And then you put mirror edges on and then you mess with the output and width. The output of height and width. There you go. So you see it's like, you know, it's not blank anymore. And I put this. There's just a beginner thing, so I'm not gonna show you in depth of like how to hide this. I don't even know myself. I should put black bars over it and it works. But yeah. You turn on the directional blur. I mean, motion blur. And then, so now we'll do the graph. So F9, is it? Boom. And then you go to the graph editor. And boom, now you do out graph. See, you know, in graph was like this. So we'll do the opposite so it looks better. You go from in and then you go to out like this. Now this, uh, is this the same thing? Just the other way or the inverted version here. So now it should look like this. There you go. See, like it's just basic, you know. I'm, like, there's some stuff you can fix for it, like different graphs or moving the keyframes around like this. Just moving this a bit closer, and then if you do have this called flow, you can just do this. Make your own presets for your graphs. Do that. Boom, bang, pow, and then there you go. You don't have to do the graphing part, but yeah, there you go. If it if it doesn't look good, just mess around with the keyframes and then change the graphs around, and that would work. And then, there, that's your basic, easy skill transitions. Got you, bro.